The bend feature folds sheet metal along a reference and is useful when traditional methods may be time consuming to add. For instance, creating a sheet metal part based on an imported DXF. Start a new bend feature. Select a bend line reference in the graphics area. This reference is a line or edge that defines the bend location. It does not have to belong to any particular sketch and can extend along multiple cuts in the same face and be at any angle to the selected face. Select a single sheet metal face to bend. For multiple bends, create additional bend features. Click the hold opposite side toggle to flip which side is bent. Like the flange feature, the bend alignment field provides multiple ways to position the bend. The first three options position the bend line relative to the flat pattern. Bend line aligns the bend line to the middle of the bend. Hold line aligns the bend line to the start of the bend. And hold other line aligns the bend line to the end of the bend. The last three options position the bend wall relative to the folded view. Enter aligns the inside of the bent wall with the bend line. Outer aligns the outside of the bent wall with the bend line, and middle aligns the mid-plane of the bent wall with the bend line. Next, choose how to control the bend angle. The bend angle field allows users to input a specific angle. Align to geometry aligns the bend parallel to a face, edge, plane, or make connector. Angle from direction aligns the bend at an angle based on a face, edge, plane, or make connector. The bend feature automatically uses the bend radius and k-factor values specified in the sheet metal model feature. If required, uncheck either option and input custom values. The bend does not affect the dimensions of the flat pattern. When using a custom k-factor, it modifies the length of the bent metal in the folded model only. Click the check mark to accept the new bend. Repeat the previous steps to add additional bends. 